Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark. Good morning from some random travel lodge in Manchester. Morning. I'm just checking out. Shall I stick the key in there? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I am late, as always. What the hell? Geezer looks like a fish gasping for air at the top of a stagnant pond. I think he's had a rough night. Anyway, I'm late, as always. I've got a very exciting day lined up, though. Last time I saw you, I believe I was leaving the barn. I'd been there for about nine days, working long hours every single day on the van, but I didn't quite get the ceiling finished, which is what I was hoping to do. Since then, I went home for about a week and a half, and then I went back to the barn. I was there for two days to finish the ceiling. That ended yesterday, and then I drove to Manchester, which is where I currently am. And now I'm going to see a friend of mine who you might recognize, as he's a fellow YouTuber, I will introduce you shortly, and he is helping me fit the plumbing into the van today. Tonight, we will go and find somewhere to park up and do the usual thing. But right now, I gotta concentrate on this drive and get to my mate. And here he is. Do you recognize him from the internet? I've been here two minutes and he's got straight to work. So I'll introduce you when he's back out from under the van. But in the meantime, let me update you on what's been going on in here. I can't remember exactly what I showed you last time because I haven't even edited that video yet. But we now have the beast of a battery in place. That's a 560 amp hour battery from Fogstar. That thing has been amazing. It has been charging nicely from my DC to DC charger whilst I've been driving. My fridge is now pinned down in place. It is still not connected yet but I will get to that probably later on and then a feature which I've personally not seen on a tank before correct me if I'm wrong but I've got this clear tube on the outside so obviously this is going to give me a very accurate level of my water so I can see exactly what's going on inside the tank now you might be wondering why I stayed in a travel lodge last night when I have a bed on wheels well basically let me show you what I was doing yesterday check out my new ceiling look at it go now I've got to trim up the edges and I've got to trim around the max fan still and obviously I've got to pull the light wires through. So underneath all that I started fitting some battens with the wood that I got from Timberley. Then I ran my light wires, added some thermo fleece and cut out my ply panels. And again I just want to say how much of a difference it makes by using the quality wood. Usually I get the cheap stuff from B&Q and it's always warped and once you cut it it leaves splinters. Whereas this stuff the track saw just slices through it like a scalpel. So I do highly recommend if you want any wood check out Timberley. But anyway, the reason why I had to stay in a hotel is because I literally sprayed all that up yesterday with excessive amounts of spray glue and the fumes were just not leaving the van and I didn't really fancy going to bed feeling like I'm riding on a cloud. So that is why I checked into a travel lodge. But that brings me nicely to today's video sponsor, which is Surfshark. Now Surfshark is a VPN and I used to use VPNs for a different reason. I used to use them basically to trick the internet into thinking that I was in a different location. So for example, I could log on to Netflix and it would think I'm in America, therefore I get to watch all of the titles that the Americans get to watch on their Netflix. And changing your location is an amazing feature of VPNs, but it's not actually what they were intended for. They were intended for security. So let me explain, this is my phone or a laptop. This is the internet. Now usually you connect straight to the internet and anyone else on that same line as in cyber criminals can just access your data and whip it from underneath you. But this is the VPN. What it does is it creates a secure tunnel to route your data through that before connecting to the internet so all the pesky criminals can stay in this section whilst you're down here. And when I say it is a secure connection, believe me, it is secure. They use military grade encryption. So if you wanna check them out, use the link in the description and use the promo code ADS to get up to six additional months for free. And finally, he's out from underneath the van, so it is time to introduce you to Gilmore. Hello, mate. How are you doing? I'm only joking. This is Aiden. You might recognize him from the channel Urban Arc Overland. Mate, I am so grateful that you're doing this for me today. So far, what have you done? Stick the tank underneath? Dude, loads of holes. So underneath, I'll just show you briefly. So I'm not gonna get down on the floor because the jack's been taken out, but somewhere under there, you can hopefully see the waste water tank. 
So the waste is going to be on the outside, but a fresh has to be on the inside because where I'm going to the Arctic Circle, it will freeze up otherwise. So this is my water pump and accumulator. That does stuff. He knows. <laughs> From left to right, filter, pump, accumulator. See so what you were a plumber by trade before you're doing the YouTube Domestic thing. plumber, 20 years. But now he builds out vans that look a little bit like this. And obviously Gilmore builds vans as well. This is his little masterpiece. Thank you, mate. The weather looks like it might be on the turn, so I'm gonna let him crack on for a bit because we need to get this bit with the back doors open done whilst it's still dry. But we'll check in shortly and I'll show you the progress. All right, the rain is coming down. It's not looking good. You keep in dry over there, mate. Aiden is still at work though. Did you hear that? That's a donkey. No, it's not. Look at it. What is it? It's a horse. Aiden is currently around in his workshop creating some magic. So I have put the kettle on. Now I want to know what the hell this is. Look at it. It's like a table that sticks out from the wheel and it is solid. How is it even attached? I don't understand. Where has he got this from? I need one. The man with the answer to my question, <laughs> what is this? That is the UAO wheel table. UAO is in your own brand? Urban Arc Overland, the UAO. What, are you Honestly, selling them or is this just yours? These are for sale. This started off as a pet project, taking the concept of the tire table, the tailgater. I've never implied that this was my original design. I just took a design and I excelled it by, I think, about 500%. Do you reckon it will fit on here? Oh, look at that, you've even got your logo cut into it. Mate, that's well nice. More storage solutions are on the way, but as far as breaking it down and packing it down... What? That's well good. Yeah, mate, I need one of these in my life. So that will actually hold itself. It's very sturdy, but for extra, the leg support. What makes mine a bit different to some of the other ones out there is I've got these hook... The hook on, you can hang from these tables, utensils, Bluetooth speakers, anything you want, a bin. Right, make. hold on. Look at it go. It will take the weight of two cups of coffee. Will it? Yeah. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a link down below. Is there a certain video that shows this? Yes, there is a dedicated UAO wheel table video and that link be down below. Whilst Aiden is cracking on with the plumbing work, I am going to start pulling all these wires through from the ceiling. They're tucked up neatly behind the little holes. And I've got a bunch of LED ceiling lights here. These ones are cool white and these ones are warm white. So the plan is we'll have four cool white ones around the max fan, which is also going to have a light around that, by the way, but that's coming another day. Then in the bedroom area, we're going to have two warm white bulbs to give it a nice cozy feel. And then finally, we can get rid of these things. Ladies and gentlemen, what can you see behind me? That thing up there in the sky, the sun, has come out to play. And it's the perfect time to show you my idea which has inspired an invention. This is the Ultra Dump 4000X. <laughs> Not him, I mean this. <laughs> so basically I said to Aiden a couple of weeks ago, what I want is I want two ways of dumping my water. Most people go for one, but we don't want that. So basically I've got a manual dump for when I'm in the Arctic and things are gonna freeze up and I can just open it, leave it open all the time. But I also wanted an electric dump. So when I'm in the van, I can press a button and it will chuck me water out. But whereas some people have one or the other, I have constructed this beast out of the items which Aiden told me to get. Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein's monster, the Ultra Dump 4000X. So basically input from the waste tank, that's the output the manual output if you turn this handle. And then we've got, this is the electric one, so you press a button in the van and that'll dump it out of that side. Now we just gotta figure out how the hell to mount it under there. Well, I say that, Aiden is gonna figure out how the hell to mount it under there, seeing as he is the expert. Whilst I continue mounting my lights, we've already got one in and she is looking beautiful. I'm pretty sure I just saw a visitor coming into my van. Oh, I did. How you doing, mate? You exploring in there? You checking out my new wheels? They are the one, look at them go. This is now a very exciting time in the life of the pigeon. The lights are finally up. I can hopefully never have to use the USB lights again. All six of them are in. But a moment of truth, the battery is now on. So for now, I've just rigged up a temporary switch panel that runs down to my lights. I'm gonna show you this in more detail another day because this thing's actually amazing. But are you ready? 
Look at it go! Then at the back, we should have two warm white ones when I press the next button. And the Lord said, let there be light. Look at it. And they're red. This is a fantastic day. I can finally get rid of this bungee cord which holds up my battery powered lights. And that, my friends, is art. And that is done just in time because Aiden has fitted the Ultra Dump 4000X. So obviously that waste water pipe isn't staying there, but the actual thing itself is now mounted because it didn't actually come with any mounting points, obviously, because this is a construction of my own. I've been summoned. Apparently we're ready for a little test run of the initial stage is not complete yet, but just to put some water into it. So we have filled up the tank as a little test run. You plug it in here. Obviously it would have looked neater if this was underneath the van, but I wanted it inside so that when I'm in the Arctic, not even this end section can freeze up. I may get that put outside the van when I'm back. But for now, that is that. We filled it up. You probably can't see because it's literally up to the max, but that is actually filled with water. And now we're about to test the output, which again is just temporary on the end of a hose at the moment. So using the power of my phone, I'm going to turn it on. Right, it's on. God, it actually works. I can hear it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at that. So I should be able to turn it off with my phone at all. As you can see, I'm wrapped up with the double hoodie system now. It's a system, it's not just a, it's just a clothing choice. We've come to the end of the day. Aiden, you've been so helpful, mate. Where are you? You're behind me. He's been so helpful. Unfortunately, he's a family man, so I only had him for the one day. Not too unfortunate for my family, I hope. You know what I mean, but um, I only had him for the one day, which means that the last few bits, he's trusting me to do it myself. I'm probably going to be phoning you up to ask for some help. I'm going to quickly show you what has been done. So we've got all of that gear attached to the tank, which is now filled with water and we haven't got any leaks. We've got the Ultra Dump 4000X underneath the van, which you can't see from the outside, which is perfect. But I can still get my hand under there to access it and turn it onto the manual side. And in here, oh, I was gonna say we can't see anything, but of course we can. We can see it all today, right? We've also got this little beauty of a tap. So she swings in and out both ways. You can pull her out, you can spray her, and you could do all sorts. We'll test that out properly shortly. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Hot, cold, on, off. And obviously, it's out of the way of the sink. Obviously, underneath there, we've got the wastewater coming out. This isn't actually connected either, but that's part of my job. But all in all, mate, you've done an absolute astounding job. No problem Put at all. Put it there. Yeah, feel free to come over to my channel, like and subscribe, but please do not email me about Ultra Dump 4000 Xs <laughs> because that is no longer on my uh, agenda. Not because it's not good, but because no, it no, was a bit of a hassle. It's totally miraculous, but time consuming, uh, got there in the end. We so what you're up. saying is, I now am the only owner of the oh, yeah. Dump 4000X yeah, yeah. and yeah. no one else will ever have one. No. But yeah, honestly, when I first saw Aiden's channel, I think it was when you were doing a build, he'd done such a good build on this Sprinter, honestly. It's worth going to check out because you can learn a lot from this guy and the channel's good. I'll put the link down below. Thank you, Aiden, so much no for your time, mate. You've no been problem. an absolute legend. So Aiden went to go pick up his little one, so I've left his place. I'm currently about half an hour down the road. I've just stopped at his services for two main reasons. One, I just wanted to check for leaks in the new plumbing system now that I've driven it. And as I thought, there are no leaks. And the other reason why I've pulled over is just so I can look on Park for Night and try and figure out what to do. But it turns out Bruce and a couple of people that I know are staying at a pub tonight because they're going to some event tomorrow. The pub is about two hours away, but I quite fancy going to see them. And after a long day out in the cold, I kind of fancy a pint. We're just round the corner now, so not long until we're there. This drive has been so nice and warm, honestly. I'm back down to one layer of clothing because as 100% of people's grandmas will tell you, if you wear an extra layer or a jacket when you're inside, you won't feel the benefit when you go outside. This does not look like a sort of road a pub is in. It's a small cul-de-sac full of houses. Is that how you pronounce cul-de-sac? Cul-de-sac? I don't know how you pronounce it. Whatever it is, this does not look right. Oh, wait, right, hold well on. I think we might have taken a wrong turn. No, it says we've arrived. Liar! I mean, I could just knock on someone's door around here and see if anybody fancies pouring me a pint. No, there's nothing down here apart from a load of garages. The van's too tall for the likes of this cul-de-sac. What is going on? 
I should have downloaded that stupid app that everyone's got, What Three Words, because that's what they sent me to get here. But I refuse to use it. It doesn't make any sense. People just stop shouting three words at you. Fish, elephant, bananas! I'm not trusting that stupid Siri woman anymore. Hey Siri, shut up. It's not very flat, great right out, do. I don't care. That'll do. Let's go and have a pint. Where the hell do wolves live? No, it's not wolves, is it? It's wolves with a V. Where the hell do wolves live? You always hear about them knocking about in the woods and scaring people and maybe eating a couple of children and that, but where do they actually live? I want to go and see a wolf. If the plural of a mouse is called mice, is the plural of a house heist? Yeah, look, there's three heists up there. Houses is the plural of houses. Maybe it's the other way around. A mouse. Mouses. Yeah, that works. There's 17 mouses. Look at them running around with their stupid little... They're not stupid. I like mouses, to be honest. Another thing, right? You know the phrase, no offence? That was pretty much invented as something that you have to say before you say something offensive. When has anyone ever said, no offence, but... And then said something that's not offensive? It's always offensive. No offence, but your nose looks like a rocket. At least no one can say anything offensive about my ceiling. Look at it go. The only thing I'm gutted about is that it's not underneath me, so I can't lay on it. I reckon I might start keeping bees in here. 80 bees, right? You can buy 80 bumblebees for 80 quid. They come with a queen. I think it's one queen and 80 bees for 80 quid. Honey bees are more expensive, but 80 bees. Imagine that in here, they'd love it. If I was to take a guess right now as to where I am, well, I'd probably say in bed, because then I'd win. But other than that, like in the country, I don't know where the hell I am, to be honest with you. I just keep putting postcodes in my sat having going places. But it's fun. Good morning, people. What the hell is that? And where did it come from? What the hell is that? Look at that beast. But more importantly, what the hell is this? I don't remember bringing that in here. Mmm. That is the one. What is that? That's wild mice. Where's your sick of legs? That looks like a f***ing human leg. Good morning. Again, I think I've already said that. This is the current scenes. There are people around the side of my van. We've only been up five minutes and Bruce is already at work. We didn't properly seal this the other day, so we're just finishing that job. I might have been saying good morning, but in reality, I did lie in a little bit. It may be closer to lunchtime. I think we're going to head lie back in. into the pub. Lie in. <laughs> we're going to go and have a pie. Well, 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 what do we have here? A jelly bean look-alike. I am headed to a gym. I want to go and have a shower and freshen up. And then from there, I've got another mission to go on. Well, the next episode, I'm probably just going to be stealth camping. And it is going to be my last ever stealth camp in a cold van. Because after that, I will be going to get my new heating system. Why is everyone beeping? It's definitely not at me, is it? They're fully red lights, so I cannot go anywhere. But yeah, the heating's getting installed in about three days' time. And between now and then, I'm just going to go and head to that direction where it's getting done. Stealth camp it out tonight, which I will film. And then whilst the work's getting done, because this is like a top-notch heating system, it's going to take about three days for them to do it. So during that time, I will be staying in a hotel and I will be editing and just catching up with all the YouTube stuff. As always, I just want to say a massive thank you to anyone who's donated to the channel by buying me a brain cell through the link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you next week.